G'day, Craig from Fully Condition. Just gonna go through and do a quick setup on a um, zone controller. Just standard sort of commissioning setup will do. Um, this one here just has one single zone. Uh, yeah, so we'll just go through and, and show you what to set and how to also do the air side control. Okay, so here we have the controller. Um, I've got my light on because I don't know, for some reason it's not real easy to see when the light's on, you can see the LCD a lot better. <clears throat> anyway, first thing to do, set the time. So we push day time down the bottom there, and then we push shift. Then it goes to adjust, so you use the temperature to change the day, so it's Friday, shift. So now the clock is flashing, we adjust that. So you hold your finger down, moves fast. It's a 24 hour time. Um, so hopefully, I won't go too far, which I have already. 17, 15, enter. So now that's set. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna set up the parameters. So there's a few different parameters you can set. So out of the box, um, it's set a certain way. Um, but I'll go through and show you what we normally set. So to get into the setting mode, we push and hold down the test exit button for about five seconds. And then we come up this local 10 setting. So we hit shift until mode is flashing or modes on the screen and the 10 is flashing. We want to change that to 1B. Then we go shift. Shift and it changes the switch. So now the switch is flashing. So the first switch is zero. So that's a um, remote sensor and O2 means that the sensor is active. We don't have that sensor connected. So we're going to go shift and O1 means that it's now not active. Enter. Then we want to go to the next code. So shift. Shift, now we're to switch. Um, we want to change it to one. So the, the next, so number switch number one is now sensor number two. And then this is already set to not active uh, out of the box. So we're gonna go to setting number two. Number two is fan mode in heating. So we want to go to shift and we want to change it to um, O3, which we find is best. O3 is off when the thermostat is off. So when the thermostat senses the temperature is adequate, it, it turns off. Um, O1 from standard is low, low fan and O2 is set fan speed. So whatever fan speed you've got to set here, it'll always blow that much air. Um, and three is off with thermostat off. So when the thermostat's satisfied, the fan turns off. So to save it, we just push enter. Let me go to the next one. Shift mode, shift to switch. And we go to three. And now this is the amount of zones. So we go shift again. And we've got up, to, this one does up to eight zones. So we're going to change it to single one zone because that's all this one has. Enter locally set. Um, then we're going to go to the next one. So shift mode, shift to three, um, change that to four. So switch four uh, is a setting for your zones. So just say the whole house was zoned and you have the ability to close off every single outlet from the zone selection. If we did that, we could blow the duct off the unit. So this setting here, um, if we go shift, so the position you've got O1 and O2. O1 is keep one zone on all the time. So if we had it in that setting, you wouldn't be able to have all of the zones off. It would always keep one on. But because we do have a common zone, so the living area in here is common, um, we don't need to set that and we're going to have it set to O2 so that they can turn all the zones off, which is only one, which is what they'll want. Enter. 
Then we're gonna go to mode five. Um, five is master RC. So here, this is the master RC, and this is the master RC sensor. Out of the box, it's set to O1. So this sensor is not active. We wanna change that. So we're gonna change it to O2, enter. Then we're gonna to go to mode six, and then shift. And mode six is a uh, subcontroller. O1 means we don't have a subcontroller. And if I was to change it to O2, it means we have a subcontroller. Um, subcontroller just means you have another one of these somewhere in the house. Um, we don't have that, so we're gonna leave it at O1. So we're gonna to go to shift, six, and then we're at seven. So this is now the setting you get for the fan in cooling mode. So again, it's O1 is low, low, O2 is set fan speed, and O3 is off with thermo off. So we're gonna change it to off with thermo off. And that's O3, so 1B703, enter. Um, then we're gonna go to the next one, which is eight. And it doesn't actually tell us in the book what that does, but it's set for O2. Um, so I'm not gonna change that. So we're gonna change it to nine, which is fan speed. Um, and you've got the choice between fan speeds one to 15. This doesn't have a lot of outlets on it, so I think nine is gonna be about right, and I've gone past it. Nine, enter. Um, now, to save all those settings, we just have to push test exit. So once we hit that, it uploads it to the EEPROM and then that's all set. Okay. With this um, one here, we're gonna set the air side control. So this unit here is a 125 Dakin, um, has seven outlets on it. This one here flows 840 litres a second. So you need to know what system you have and how much airflow it has. So eight, 840 is our number. So we divide 840 by seven outlets and we end up with 120. So for every single outlet in this house, um, we're doing a proportional balance on the outlet numbers. We've roughly got 120 litres per outlet. So now we know that, um, we can go in and set it up. So we push and hold down the test button and it comes up with locally set zero. So then we push the fan button once and it comes up with airflow. So again, we push shift and it brings up the zone. So zone one is zone one. And then if I change that to zone zero, zone zero is the common zone. So because we always have um, some outlets that are commonly connected to the air conditioner. So whenever the air conditioner turns on, um, they're connected, uh, it's called the common zone, or well, it's not really a zone, but it's the, the common. So what we want to do is we want to set the airflow. So in the common, there is three outlets, so three times 120 is 360. So we'll set this to 360, go on past it. Enter, then we go to shift, and then let's set zone one. So zone one, um, shift, so airflow rate for zone one. So that has four outlets on it, because we've got a total of seven. So that's 480 liters a second. Go on past it. Okay, so there's 480, enter. That's all done. Now we just go test exit. So now the airflow rate's set up. So when you turn zone one on or off, it will automatically adjust the airflow up or down um, depending on what zones are open. So if that zone's on, it knows that it's gonna flow the full 840 liters a second or whatever it was. If we turn that off, it will knock back the fan um, proportionally 
to how many litres a second we need. It's not super accurate, but it's better than nothing. It's better than going in and manually adjusting your fan speed. Okay, so now we're gonna rename the zone. So you see when I push zone one, it just says zone one. So we want it to actually give us a name. So if I push and hold down shift, comes up with zone one and we're here, we're able to change the name. So this is bedrooms. And so you adjust it. You push shift to move to the next one. So when you come up here and you've got the old zone and you want to get rid of it, you just go temperature up, temperature down, and it puts a dash there, shift, temperature up, temperature down, shift, shift, temperature up, temperature down, shift. When we've got what we want, we push enter, moves to the next one. Because we've only set one zone, it's only going to let us name this. If we had all eight zones active, then it would keep going through naming all eight zones. So you can change the name of the indoor sensor, which I don't think we really need to. You can change the name of the sensor here. Again, we don't need to. And then back to bedrooms. Um, to save it and exit, just test exit. All right, another one that people um, often miss is down here, we've got select sensor. So when we push that on the screen, it brings up what sensor is active. So the master RC, that's the sensor here. Push select sensor again, changes it to indoor sensor. This indoor sensor is the sensor in the indoor unit. If the indoor unit's up in the roof, it's not gonna give you an accurate temperature. Especially now that we've set the fan to cycle on heating and cooling. So we wouldn't really ever use that sensor. Um, we'd use master RC. To set master RC, fix sensor. If we had um, another sensor in there, so like the, the there's two additional sensors that can be wired into the system, and then if you got a second control pad, um, a slave controller, then you can also make the sensor in the slave controller active and you can rename it. So then you could name this one, you know, like lounge room. If you had a control upstairs, then you could have it, its, its sensor named um, upstairs sensor. And then if you had... Uh, a remote sensor in a room. Um, you might call it, you know, remote sensor bedroom one, or you might have another remote sensor number two in, um, say, the rumpus. So it just gives you another place to sense from. It can only look at the sensor in one space. That sensor now becomes the master sensor for the whole system. So it will just heat and cool the whole space. It doesn't actually control temperature um, everywhere or just in that room, but it, it just means that that sensor becomes active. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Just a short, quick one. Just not want to bang on too long, but I probably have. Um, but anyway, hopefully uh, it helps. Thanks. Bye. When the sun's beating down and the sweat on your brow, fully air conditioned. When there's ice on your toes and there's frost on your nose Fully air conditioned When you can't sleep at night cause it's hot as hell inside And you think you're gonna go insane Or when you're having no fun cause your hands and toes are numb You only need to remember one name Keep the winter chills away till the summer